won't go in there and hold them accountable. Animal abusers violating their right to life. What's in that truck? Oh, we think you can just get away scot free. Keep going down into the gas. We're going to get caught. Thanks for being here. Nice English day. Don't put any trust in the truck drivers, all right? They're not your friend. People have been killed at that vigils before. So just be safe. Decapitated yeah. heads around. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, uh, yeah. Sick. There you go, RSPCA assured. There's a hacked up piece of animal on the floor there. Got a worker over here. So that's refrigerator room after they've gone through the slaughter process. There's, there's a carcass there, isn't there? Yeah, that's, they, they're dumping body parts into it. I do remember, you can go all the way around to where they held the piglets. You can't see them, but you can hear them screaming like in Manchester. You can normally hear them here. Can you? Hey, mate. Right. Hey, you're the owner? Am I the owner? Yeah. I wish I was. Why is that? Money. <laughs> Get more money, money as the money, owner. Money. So we're, we're just here, with, you know why we're here, obviously. Yeah. 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 Were you here before when the activists used to come as well? Yeah. yeah. It's been here for a while. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to be taking some like images of the pigs and uh, filming the pigs before they go in here. Uh, uh, so uh, we'll uh, have a look, see how many um, vehicles we've got to do. Okay. And then um, just to let you know what times as well. Can you give me a tour with the camera and watch the pigs be slaughtered? No, I can't Why not? do any of that. Why not? I can't do that. Is that going to hurt your business? <laughs> come on. Transparency, this is the RSPCA supplier, isn't it? No transparency, no tours. Where's my guided tour? I thought it's all humane and... They say we're open. We're open. Come on then. He's not our friend. No, what do you fair. think about this slaughterhouse right in the middle of a suburban area? Do you... It's not even horrendous. It's not good, is it? No. Hear the screams? No. no. Can't, we've no I've never heard any screams, but the smell is... It's not good. No. Remove your support for the industry and maybe they'll they'll have to close down. Are you going to take us for a guided tour now? Show us that slaughterhouse transparency. What these slaughterhouses don't like is people knowing what they do. That's what they don't like. So if you know of a slaughterhouse, you fly your drone over there, tell everyone where it is. You know what I mean? Expose them. Everyone in here knows how disgusting these places are. Why is this all closed up here? That, that there should just be a normal gate, but obviously they're squirting crap out of trucks over here. And um, no transparency, obviously, except for uh, Pilgrim's Manchester, a bit of transparency there, right? Eh? You got CCTV on the kill floor? CCTV on the kill floor? You make money off abusing animals in here too? How do you live with yourself? How do you live with yourself? You know exactly what happens in here, don't you? You know exactly what happens in here, don't you? How many times have workers beaten these animals? How many times? Who do you get working in here? Who do you get working in here? How do you take a paycheck from doing this to these animals? How do you live with this? How do you sleep at night hearing those screams? Genuine question. Can you sleep easy? Just wait, you're all gonna be exposed one by one, every single slaughterhouse. Every single slaughterhouse that violates the rights of animals, leaves them in a pool of blood suffering, decapitating animals, abusing animals. We know what goes on in these places. How do you know we don't already have footage from in here? Go check out Pignorant. See, see what we do. Check out what we do, how we expose you. And there's a school here. There's a school here, school children. How do you live with yourself? Animal abusers, FA guilt. 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 Animal abusers. How do you live with yourself taking a paycheck from these animal abusers? How do you sleep at night? F.A. girls, animal abusers! We know what goes on in these places. Disgusting animal abuse. You guys know what happens in here. You guys know, mate. I know you're getting a paycheck, but how do you live with yourself getting a paycheck from this? Disgusting. 
Disgusting what's happening to these animals. They're the victims. Not little name calling, not little words. The pig's getting decapitated in there. How many disgusting people have been working in here? We know what happens in these places. Secret cameras show it all. How many of you gotten away with abusing these animals? How many workers in here have been abusing these animals? How many? Shame on you! 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 Animal abusers, shame on you! Animal abusers, shame on you! Animal abusers, shame on you! How do you live with yourself? You have some level of accountability overseeing this, don't you? Some level of accountability. We well, think you can just get away scot-free, no accountability. You're overseeing the worst animal abuse. What's in that truck there? What's in that truck there? The worst animal abuse. Violating these right, the rights of these sentient beings. Violating their right to life. How do you take a paycheck? And you, the supervisor, Overseeing the animal abuse, overseeing it. Everything's fine here, signing off on it. Putting the fucking workers through that. Disturbing people so they go home and in, back into society disturbed. What's in that truck there? Did they want to die? Did those animals want to die? If no one worked in a slaughterhouse, they'd shut down. True? Am I right? Exactly. Exactly. What are those decapitated pig's heads doing in that truck? What took place here? Murder! Murder! So he's just obviously the supervisor. Yeah, he's been here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows what goes on, mate. Yeah. He's not stupid. Yeah. Like, he knows exactly what happens in there. Making him feel a bit of pressure that the animals have to feel, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Except not as bad, obviously. you laugh at a job like this? I don't think you're allowed to have body parts on the floor like that, eh? Who cares what you're allowed to do though, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It is what they're allowed to do, that's the f***ing problem. Yeah. I live around the corner. I'm my nephew and my sister-in-law, we live in the same street. Yeah. We've been, we've been sick and tired of it. Yeah. It's not just what they do. Children go across here. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely it's a nightmare sometimes. Yeah. You cannot sit outside in the summer when you've got relatives above and you can do the smell. The smell? Yeah. Is that bad? Yeah, you can't. Yeah. And so, I'll be honest with you, sometimes you, you feel embarrassed inviting people to your house for a barbecue because yeah. you cannot sit in the back garden. It's embarrassing. Yeah. If you stop putting money into slaughterhouses, they go out of business and then they don't have to be here. Some people in Sharon Coast are fed up with saying anything because Nothing, nothing's ever happened, yeah. you know. I think the, the, the power that the people, people actually have is in the supermarket okay. because they get their money to stay open well, from yeah. products being purchased yeah. there. So that's why we don't, we're all plant, we eat plant-based diet. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we don't, we think in order to get meat, you've got to have these around. And we don't want them around, do we? Yeah. So it's, a, it's, it's part and parcel with... Yeah, and the, it's like a circle, isn't it, really? So if everyone here stop, if everyone boycotted gills, they'd shut this place down. I mean, it really should not, it shouldn't be, well, you shouldn't be anywhere, really, for what they do. Yeah. But like I say... But it's just that they're in a residential area well, as well that makes it even worse. Yeah. yeah, I get you. And a lot of them are, actually. A lot of them are. We shut one down in um, Manchester. You should watch my uh, documentary. It's on, do you have Amazon Prime? Yes, sir. Uh, they keep people in the dark. They really do. They keep people in the dark. It's all about money. They don't care about anything else. We should not be do having any, any place called a slaughterhouse in civilized society. No, you know, we all get to go home and be completely disconnected from this. You're not, you're more connected because you have to live next I to live, it. I live in the But house. most people don't live next to a slaughterhouse, so they're completely removed. So they just go home, cook their bacon, don't have to worry about it. Yeah. And imagine what the pigs have to go through in there to get it. Like even worse, that's another level of what. You know, something going back a good few years, in the early hours of the morning, you could hear them screaming. Yeah. There's the cops. I'm just gonna we'll, say, um, we'll go talk to him. Really nice to speak to you, my friend. We'll take, care. take care. Guys, you know you can protest. I'm aware of that, you're aware of that. No issues at all. However, this is a business that needs to run the business as well. We're not, we're not stopping the business from running. We're not intervening in the business. These guys can come and go. 
you guys can be here. They've That's called it. you. Um, yeah. Regardless, you guys yeah. can protest. I'm happy for that. Of course we can protest. Can, it's our fundamental I'm, right, I'm, isn't I'm it? Nice it's like saying we can breathe air. So as long as we keep the gates clear, so I can yeah. come and go. That's fine. Of course we won't obstruct. Uh, um, we won't obstruct. Okay it. With that. Of course, yeah. yeah. Now that's completely fair. Okay, I'll go and tell the same to these guys. No, thank you. Well. When they uh, come in with the with a truck full of pigs, will they allow us uh, to see the pigs before they cut their heads off? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. Yeah. Is that the boss? You make some Are you the owner? Animals, eh? Are you the owner? Shame on you. Shame on you. How much money are you making from abusing animals in here? Shame on you. And the vulnerable and made to do the jobs that you won't do. What about the workers? PTSD. Yeah. PTSD for the workers in here killing animals. Shame on you. Who, who's making the most money here from this bloodbath? Who's making the most money here? There's a head on the floor still. Is there a head on the floor? You can carry on with the screams of the pigs and the stench of their bodies, can't you? But a little bit of a accountability you don't like, yeah? What's your bank account look like? What's your bank account look like from slaughtering these animals? Probably quite big. Having these workers abuse the animals on your behalf. Are you the boss? We'll look you up. We'll look you up. Who's making the most money? The blood is on your hands. Blood's on your hands. Causing all the residents here distress because they have to hear the screams, smell the crap, smell the corpses. Huh? How many lives are you taking today? How many? How do you sleep at night hearing those screams? Defenseless animals, defenseless animals just like dogs. How do you sleep at night? Animal abusers, all of yous, the lot of yous. Animal abusers taking money off of violating their rights, right? If there were dogs in there, human beings in there, you would expect exactly the same words, but they don't matter, do they? Pigs don't matter, do they? Why is that pig's head left on the floor? You need an audit. This, this place needs an audit. This place needs an audit. This place needs a nice, big, chunky investigation, doesn't it? Maybe we've already done one. Maybe we've already done one here, eh? About to release the footage tonight. About to release the footage tonight, enjoy. Do we get a liaison officer for the pigs, or are they just on their own? Uh, I'm not going to comment to that. Yeah, they're on their own, aren't they? There's no accountability here. No one's policing the slaughterhouse workers, are they? Inside there, no one polices them. We do. We, we do, mate. We do. We police them, because what they do in there, they can do and get away with. I know what you are. I know what you're here to do, and you know what we're here to do. But they get away with abusing animals in there constantly, and the only way they get exposed is if activists with hardly any budget stick cameras in there and find out what they do. Because you won't go in there and hold them accountable, only if they're committing a crime that you can see. But they commit crimes in there every single day. Every single day. Look into it. At, at the moment, we're just here to make sure. I know what you're here to do. You don't have to talk to me if you're not just going to repeat that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that... We're not going to get into an argument. I, 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 I know you're not. I know. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're human beings as well. You can hear this as well. No, no. There's a breach of the peace happening in there. It's a sick, it's a sick disgusting hellhole in there. We appreciate the police, but we also you understand what happens in these places. Should put some funding into independently investigating this. If you go down a shop, you buy bacon, you pay for the worst kinds of abuse and killing on earth that are happening right now by the millions and millions and millions and millions. All right. So if you want to be non-violent, if you want to be peaceful, if you want to keep the peace, keep the peace on your plate. They got no one to protect them, do they? No police for the pigs. No, no, not even the RSPCA will help them. No one will help them except for us. It's disgusting, really. So it's, it's a backwards world. Disturbing the local community with the stench of corpses and the screams of murdered animals. How do you sleep well at night? I don't know. Baffles me, mate, eh? Need a full-scale investigation here, I think. All of you need to be investigated for animal abuse. All right? Violate, I bet you, I guarantee you. I'll put my life on it. They use up doing some horrible in here constantly with impunity because that's how it works nice little faa gills sign out the front here we know exactly what takes place in these places how do you know we haven't already done an investigation in here and this is just a little pre preliminary party before the expose how would you feel about that we plaster your faces all over social media here are the animal abusers here nice big fat paycheck for the animal abusers 
those pigs don't get no one to help them, do they? Feel a bit of the pressure that the pigs have to feel every day here. Live around here? Yeah. You interested in what we're up to? Yeah, I got back from the coach early, minibus. I thought we had a load blame you. Yeah. They bring a load of pigs here, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. They do, I know. And I was speaking to some other residents and they can hear them scream constantly and the it's smell of their bodies. The smell. And the smell, the smell. Of the yeah. Is that where the bodies go in that thing there? Yeah, yeah, that's all body parts and I filmed it with my drone before. It's all entrails and, you know, f hooves and faces and we're trying to tell the, the general population yeah, it's what it's like. that, yeah. yeah, this is what it's like and not to just, you pay their, you pay their wages, you keep it open. That, that big guy came out in the suit before oh, making, that? it's kind of man, they opened up more slaughterhouses in residential areas if people keep yeah. buying bacon, 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 bacon. I know he is bacon. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Sorry? Are you eggs? Eggs. Well, that's another industry, isn't it? Oh, no, it is, yeah. Once you, once you see, they all lie. They all lie. Here, take a few cards. Yeah, this is our document. You, Do you have Prime you. at home? Thank you. Thank you. Amazon Prime? Yeah. Check it out. That's our documentary we just made, and we're out here uh, doing, a bit of, doing a bit of campaigning. Plant-based, mate. Plant-based. Better for, the, better for the ticker as well. Well, yeah, you definitely, yeah. 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 Live longer? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. bad, bad karma, this. Well, I know. Full isn't of fat. I know, I know. It's bad karma, mate. Yeah. Peace, brother. Who's the most accountable in this place for the abuse that takes place here? Who's the most accountable? Overseeing horrifying animal abuse. Overseeing it, signing off on it. Knowing that you're feeding it to children as well, that's suffering. Knowing that that's gonna go in some little kid's mouth. They're gonna eat a sausage and not even think about it. Eat a bloody bit of bacon and not know that those pigs scream for their lives. They scream for their lives. Shame on you. If you ever want to wear a secret camera and walk through that, that slaughterhouse for us and expose some stuff, let me know. If anyone wants to uh, wear a secret camera for us and expose this place, let us know. Maybe you already got some footage, actually. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure to these people here because I honestly, truly, but uh, emphatically believe that uh, some horrible stuff has got taking place in this place. And I think they will know it. And, uh, but even if there's not some outrageous, egregious welfare issues happening, which I can guarantee you with my, I'd put my life on it that there is. They're violating the animal's rights, and they're decapitating them and putting them in this bin over here. And um, I'm just letting them know that that's, it's unacceptable, basically. There are levels of accountability at these slaughterhouses and I understand the dynamics between like people's circumstances. They might be, uh, they might be visiting the country or come here to work, you know, and this is the best paying job that they come to go to feed their family. Um, some people gravitate towards this kind of work because they are psychologically disturbed. Some people become psychologically disturbed and desensitized from working in these places. Um, and then they bring that, that disturbed mindset out into society. I mean, but then you got, you got supervisors, another level of accountability. You know what I mean? Uh, overseeing it all. That's why I'm focusing mainly on the supervisor here. And then you got the, the, the company, um, the corporate staff in there, another level of accountability. And then, and then you got the consumer, which is also another level of accountability. But um, I don't think slaughterhouse workers have zero accountability. Zero. <laughs> like it's just, just happened to, you know, it, it, it's not like that, I, you know. And uh, just who knows what happens in there that, we, we, that the cameras have never seen. I'm just letting them know that we could investigate it. You know what I mean? That we could. Maybe we have. Maybe they pull their heads in and at least, I don't know. If they, all if they all stop working here, this place could go under. If they can't get people working in these places, they're just all shut down. Put, put a huge strain on the farming industry as well. Farmers just drop their animals off here and uh, wipe their hands with them. And then these people handle the slaughtering. Well, this guy doesn't. They pay these other workers to do it, to be disturbed by it when they go home and try to sleep. Anyways. So locals are sick of this place, eh? The locals are getting sick of smelling, decomposing corpses likely traumatizing some of the workers in here, turning them into killers, conditioning the killers of the future. Slaughterhouses, eh? Go and tick a few more boxes and oversee some animal abuse. Hope that nestles nicely in your conscience. I wonder if he still eats pigs after working in here. Hello, are you a local? 
I'm vegan. Are oh, you a vegan? And I hate this place. It oh, really? stinks in the summer. It yeah. stinks. So me and my husband have tried to get it closed down for a while. Oh really? But we don't know what to do. Well, you're doing a, a good thing by being vegan. It oh. stinks. Yeah. I hate it in the summer. It's really bad. Really bad because they've, they've got the bin full of that, that truck there, that, that container there's full of body parts there. So, yeah. Does anything ever cover this though? What do you mean? Are you doing this because it's happened before. Like you've done these protests. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, yeah, if you can get these guys shut down, it make my day. Hard to shut them down when people all buy from them, you know. Like it happened at one of the slaughterhouses we investigated. I think it was a PR move because yeah. they just. They thought it thought like they had 500 workers there and the pork industry was probably giving them some trouble and then there was an expose and they thought yeah, yeah. they shut it down. So it can happen, but it's it's I've very been, unlikely I've been to. 10 years trying. Yeah. It ain't gonna happen. And they're making money off people, probably locals are all around here, they're the same people are complaining as the one buying the pork from yeah, yeah, FA yeah. Gills. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever hear like the pigs scream? Like, yeah, all the time. Really? All the time. Scream. Yeah, yeah. Especially in summer when I got my bath. Have you got kids there? Yeah, yeah. Lady. My daughter hates it. Lady. It's horrible. Yeah, like from your Just watch yourself, be careful. Is that only the only space they have? Is that the only space they have? Just be careful. Just be careful, these people, they're f***ing dangerous, man, eh? We see you guys, we're trying. We're trying. And then, like, look how many people have come up and said, yeah, we support you. Like, the, the locals here, I think, no. they're sick of this place. No one wants slaughterhouses nearby their house. Are you a local here? Do you know about this place here? It wants blowing up, darling. You want to see your knees yeah, blowing up, don't it? 100% I agree. It wants blowing up and a little garden porch for all the mothers that have lost their pigs. Oh, bless you. Bless you, know. It's so sad, isn't it? Yeah. And we have prayer for the souls because they keep them, they got no souls. They have. You know. You do a prayer for the souls in here. Would it, oh, bless it you. Yeah. It needs oh. something doing, it needs doing it now. I know. I agree with it. It's disgusting. Yeah. But thank you for praying for these pigs. Yeah. Oh, we need time. Thank you for caring about them. Bless you. I mean, my cousin took a little pig in as a pet. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a good question now. They're puppies. They're so clean. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful animals. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you for doing what you're doing. Thank you, you appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you too. Thank you for caring. Take off. Hold point updated. Shut them down, shut down the slaughterhouses, all of them, not just this one, all of them. Shut them down. Shut them down, mate. No one, no one likes these places, eh? No one likes slaughterhouses. Horrifying hell holes. Some people work there because they don't have other, many other options. But if you actually got workers to like, just say, I'm not working in there. It's hard for them to get people in there to work, you know? And it harms their, uh, it does harm the, the supply chain a bit. If no one worked in them, they would shut down. They, they, the National Pig Association actually mentioned this. We read a letter of concern to the government and the fact that it's hard to get workers in and it's affecting production down the line, especially that supervisor. Like, if he's probably worked here for 10, 20 years, if he stopped working here, that'll be a big hit for him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, you've got the consumption angle, you've got the pressure in the slaughterhouse entry, you've got the expose angle. Like when we released our expose at Pilgrims, two days later, two big corporate people left. Because we've come here all like this, and I was showing them the footage, and I was like, you lied to me this whole time. You said that blah, blah, the pigs don't scream, blah, blah, blah. Just two weeks later, they shut the whole place down. 500 people working there. You know trying to say? It, um, it wasn't them, was it? Just a big coincidence, mate, eh? They lie, obviously. They lie. We had about 30 people here today. It's actually a really good turnout. Really, really proud of it. Thank you everyone for coming. I'm really happy that you came. 
on short notice in the rain. And uh, just to thank you. So there's one leaving in about half an hour. Okay. And there's the last one due in at about half past one. Okay. No worries. That's the last one for today. All right, bless you, mate. Thank you for finding yeah, that. We're going to go in the same entrance there. Yeah, yeah. We're going to slow down a bit by the gate anyway, so you can use all that. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We'll be careful. Yeah. Thank you, mate. That's no worries. I appreciate that. Thank okay, you. No Any one of you workers want to whistle blow? Send me an email. Let me know. Do you work on the kill floor here? If they ever treat you badly, let me know. Okay. I go in alive and come out the other side chopped up into pieces. It's an empty slaughterhouse truck. Who knows what happened to them in the farm for their whole life. And that's their reward. What have they got to hide, eh? Hey? I wonder if it's legal to be driving like that with yeah. animals in the car. They must be terrified. Yeah. The latest victims? He don't care. He don't care, he's been doing it for 30 years, he's not going to start caring now. Yeah, never trust a truck driver. Because they did that and just didn't allow us to see the pigs, that now I just, it's, it's angered me a little. Because there's no need for it, you know, they deliberately told him, drive through as fast as you can. It's all right, we'll be back. We'll be back. They'll never know when. Put this slaughterhouse on my list. Thank you, Joey. No worries, mate. No, thanks for, thanks for liaising. We're, just keep up the uh, good work, keeping the peace. Yeah. Oh, we want a peaceful world for all. Peaceful world for all. Let's go.